Hello there. So today is a bit of a different video because we'll be talking about a non Lego app. Well, it's not quite a non Lego app. You can use this app to share your Lego and it's sort of a small Lego community in itself. And it's a really nice app, but it's not affiliated with the Lego company in any other way than the fact that it just uses Lego products. But this app is called Brick It, and you might have heard of it before. This isn't a sponsored video. This isn't an advertisement. I just find myself using it so often that I thought I'd come on, record a video, and share it with you. So you can head over there and join and just make the app that much better. But what the app does, well, there's two main features. And the first one I'd like to talk about is actually finding Lego bricks. So this app can scan a whole pile of Lego bricks. It's probably the most used feature on the app, if I'm honest. And it can identify specific pieces, specific colors, and it's not 100% right because it only sees one side of the brick. So it might see the underside of a one by two. That can be a one by two brick, could be a one by two plate, could be a one by two slope, could be so many different things, could be a jumper tile even. So it's not perfect, but it does narrow down your search and it only takes a couple of seconds. And it also has a sharing feature, which we'll get to a bit later. But once you've scanned your bricks, not only can you then identify the piece you need and find certain pieces, I think there is a pro plan which unlocks pretty much every single brick. But the basic plan includes the basic bricks that you'll need for more day to day building, which is all I use it for because most of my special pieces are behind me and i'll probably do another video about that stay tuned my storage definitely needs an upgrade with all of the lego that i've been sorting but it makes it so much easier to find pieces on the go just quickly rather than having to sift through everything if you can just spread them if you can just spread out all your pieces and i definitely recommend a play mat for that it might be horrid at storing lego and keeping it protected but when it comes to sorting, if you can just spread it out on a mat and then at the end of the day, if you need it quickly away, just tie the thing up, put it away, put it in a box or something to protect the bricks. And it does its job pretty, pretty well, but it will help you identify bricks. And then it gives you a whole list of things you can build using certain bricks that it's identified, which is an amazing feature if you've got young ones, if you've got children or perhaps you struggle building your own builds then it will give you a bunch of pre-made builds which we will get to it in a second but there's even some licenses like adventure time and ones that lego have already made that it will show you that you can build using your pieces and it might not look like the official set but i think my fin here from adventure time is pretty close and it's actually so good that it's been on my back shelf there for the last couple of weeks i don't exactly remember when i made it but it's a handy app to have and as i said there is a second feature of sharing so i built this fin here i then posted a picture and it sort of works out like instagram where your pictures just get put out to other people and people can like it there's no real community as in commenting and stuff like that that i know of but I'm sure if the app gets popular enough, they'll probably allow it. And it's aimed at quite young people, but that doesn't stop anyone that's a bit older and a bit more experienced posting. As I said, I still use the app. I recently turned the Lego Friends flower poly bags. I had two of them and one of them included this cool plant pot and the newer ones included this, I guess, candle piece as the stem. So I decided to merge the both turn them into some really cool flowers and just posted a picture of them underneath the flowers. You don't have to build exactly what the instructions are telling you. As long as you find a similar enough build like the Mario Kart that I posted under the Go Kart instructions, it didn't look anything like it, but I'm sure I'll whack some images on screen for you. You can also post images from your collection. And actually, I guess there's a third feature. You can add your collection to it it's not like rebrickable where it will give you all the parts in your set or brick set which probably has a few more sets in its database but it's a decent enough collection i have added 66 of my star wars sets to it which i had to stop when i hit 66 but i even posted an image of my tie fighters all in a row two of which are custom one of which is the set from all the way back in 2012 which 
the TIE Fighter still looks good today. So it's an all-in-one app. It's easy to use. You just open it up, snap a photo, scan your Lego, or you can just build from the get-go. Perhaps you don't want to waste time scanning all your bricks and you've got it already organized. If so, first off, congrats, because I'm still a bit away from that stage. But we're getting there. We are getting there. And you can just build near enough anything that you can think of there are a few prompts i know you can build butterflies you can build as i said flowers adventure time characters fish and you can even add your own builds to the set perhaps you were planning on building something turned out you were building something else and your mind went wandering and it's something like an elephant fish which doesn't exist in lego form snap a photo of the front back top bottom upload it to the app and you might see your idea becoming an instruction itself for other people to build which i think is really cool of course brick it isn't exactly a new app but i think it's still in its early stages it's got so much to come so if you enjoy making little builds just like finn here and have a bunch of them laying around even perhaps you've already made some like i have down here we've got a few different builds some of which i fiddle around with be sure to post them to the app, download it, give it a go because it really is fun. And that feature where it can find your bricks is a really, really nice feature. Of course, you can just lay your bricks out flat and it will just select the bricks that you're looking for. It gives you different builds you can create with it. And some of these are really good. And you can just use your imagination. A lot of the builds will turn out rainbow colored because it doesn't necessarily mean you have all the colors that you need but it definitely gives you enough of the brick so it's a really nice app i'll try and leave the link in the description to the google play store and i'm sure you'll find it on apple devices and other devices too but do definitely give it a go download it for yourself let me know how you are with it and i will be reposting all of the images onto Instagram. If you want to look at everything I've posted to Brickit so far, you can't follow people on Brickit. Again, hopefully that's a feature that comes soon because there are some really good builders on there. And it is really a Lego Instagram aimed at younger people, but hopefully soon it can take a page out of Instagram's book and just hit that next step and be a platform for all sorts of Lego designers just to build, have fun, and that is really what Lego's about. Anyway, make sure you are subscribed for more awesome Lego videos, not too much like this, and may the bricks be with you, always.